Heroes of past wars had a chance to remember some of the glory days of their service to our country when they got an opportunity to ride in a vintage Boeing Stearman biplane. Our David Sears was at Stinson Airport to hear the stories the Stearman brought back to life. You get up on the wing. That is retired Air Force pilot Colonel William Goldie Goldfein getting strapped in a fully restored Stearman for a dream flight. Now look at that. With my legs this far, I could turn my head and cough and get a physical. Goldfein, now 84, flew F-4s in Vietnam. He got a chance to take the stick of the Stearman. I went, uh, made the low pass that went by and waggled my wings a couple times up there. But uh, it was fun. But not quite like flying a fighter jet. Nice little airplane, very heavy on the controls, not like a fighter. I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dr. Ronald Anderson, who started his career as an Army aviator before becoming an Army veterinarian, also learned to fly in the seat of a biplane. Today it was a little bit more exciting because you, you've been away for a while, you know. These ageless aviation dream flights do just that. While these veterans are high above the skies of San Antonio and South Texas, it gives them a chance to remember those flights gone by. Mostly good, some kind of scary. I had a dead stick landing when I w was over in Germany. Smoke coming out of the instrument under from the, under the instrument panel. That makes it exciting. Fortunately, the good Lord was looking over your shoulder, and, and we had good training. Just a complete re reliving of the good old days when we were flying airplanes with a prop out in front and uh, the sound of the engines. David Sears, KSAT 12 News.